Hi. Thailand is a land of Buddhists. They don't celebrate Christmas very much. They do, however, co-opt Christmas images for marketing purposes and for cute costumes, like my 18-year-old stepdaughter, Ying, here. But typically, Thailand doesn't celebrate Christmas. My buddy Marcus brought that thought home with a video that he posted early on Christmas morning from the rice-growing region of Thailand with the comment, we don't celebrate Christmas here very much. Living in Thailand for six years now has reinforced my Grinch-like propensities. Usually when I visit my hometown of Brooklyn twice a year, I avoid the holidays, traveling back to Bangkok before Christmas Day and before Christmas week. But this year, 2022, I arranged my holiday over the Christmas holiday and like Scrooge or the Grinch, in the end, I was won over by the Christmas spirit. Now, a little disclaimer here, I don't hate Christmas. I'm using the Grinch and Scrooge as metaphors. I guess I was a little apathetic about the holiday, but being here on the Christmas holiday with my daughter and her husband and my twin grandchildren doing very Christmassy stuff, like going to see a Disney play on Broadway was a very uplifting experience. New York City can be very inspiring at times, especially during the holidays. I saw the show on Christmas Eve with my Brooklyn family, and Christmas morning, I was in Pennsylvania with my other daughter. Now, they're not in New York City anymore. Her and her husband are New Yorkers. As a matter of fact, my son-in-law is re retired NYPD. And they live here in Pennsylvania on a Christmas tree farm. And being with the family and watching them all gather together on Christmas morning, again, was a very warm and, and, and lovely experience for me. It's something that I haven't had in quite a long time. But getting back to 42nd Street and the Broadway show, as I was exiting the theater on a very windy and frigid, cold Christmas Eve, I mean wicked cold, somewhere down around 14 degrees Fahrenheit, a fire truck responded up 42nd Street and turned north, going up 7th Avenue in the frigid weather. And that triggered a very nostalgic experience for me. I retired as a lieutenant with the fire department in New York City 21 years ago. And as a young fireman, I spent much of my working days in the theater district in New York. And I have spent, along with my colleagues, many a Christmas Eve night and Christmas Day working, while most people were at home enjoying the holiday with their families. As for the cold, snowy, frigid weather, ah, you know, icy mustaches were like a badge of honor for me and the boys, no problem. The clip of the FDNY rescue truck that I just used was shot on Christmas Eve. The rescue was responding to secure a piece of a parapet, a piece of an upper part of the, the a building facade that was loose and flapping in the wind. And in the frigid weather, they had to go up there on a 95 foot tower ladder to secure it. And I'm sure they did a fine job. The lads at rescue one of their stuff. And afterwards, I'm certain they were back in the firehouse, sitting down at the, the kitchen table, enjoying a great holiday meal cooked by one or more of the fellows on duty that could rate a Michelin star. I've spent many a night like that, taking great pride in protecting our city on such an important holiday night for people who are home with their loved ones. Now, of course, we may have been a little bit sad about the fact that we were not ourselves with our loved ones, but it was a sacrifice that we were proud to make. We were proud of our roles as protectors, you know, on Christmas and every day. So yeah, the, the wicked cold, the high winds and the piercing wail of a rescue truck from FDNY racing up 7th Avenue can inspire a lot of things and many people for me. It triggered warm nostalgia. 
It's, it's an odd thing, you know. We firemen loved what we did. And I was privileged to have participated in that deep camaraderie that we shared back then, and I'm certain they still do today. I was a little jealous that I was no longer a part of it. But those Grinch-like qualities that I was talking about in myself a little earlier in the video, well, maybe they were just a way of me, of, for me to detach from the holiday because I wasn't with my family very often. And maybe that was a way for me to minimize that, that, that situation, that detachment. Because this year, I, it has been one of my nicest Christmases ever being with my family like this and being a part of this warm family holiday. I hope it's been a good one for you too. Thanks for watching. See you soon.